Well, here we are. Really cool place. I'm below a Koei Dam number one. Pretty popular area around here. Um, it's a really old dam. I, I think it's one of the oldest ones. I think it was built like 1910 or something like that. It's crazy. Right above me is Parksville Lake. This right here is the Koei River. And it's kind of rare here recently that there's hardly any water. Usually where I'm standing right now is about three foot of water just ripping through here. The water's turned off. I've been wanting to do a video um, below the dam, like a whole video on it, just showing, kind of catching a bunch of different fish. And I've probably been up here five times and it, it was either awesome or terrible or I catch something. And, and one time I didn't even have my camera on, I just had my phone. So I came here today, we're fishing it. We're gonna see what we catch. And I might add a couple other days of fishing on it. Um, there's, there's a lot of fishing here, but man, this, this can, place can be really tough. Um, but then it can be really rewarding. Dude, this water is so low. Really cool when it's like this. All right. Let's just start casting and we might work our way up there. There's underneath that part. It goes way back up in there. It's crazy how far it goes back up in there. I wonder if this fish can just be hiding up in there when the water's flowing. You can't, it goes 30 feet back in there. You can't see it. Oh, it was a huge bass right there. They're just like, when the water's off, they just go into this slow mode of doing nothing. Just cruising. that lure what is this thing I don't even know what that is well, somebody was fishing for some big fish wire leader that they lost it there's a huge bass right there there's oh, this bass killed me that's what I hate about I do like coming here when the water's low but sometimes it's torture because these fish are just not in eating mo mode. They know that the water's off. What is that? You got a uh, swim bait. Oh, what the pole in here? That one is a another swim bait on a fluke. Check it on a fluke. There's one right there. Oh, same thing. Somebody lost the same lure. Fluke on a jig head. Which one's that? What is that? That's the big old swim bait thing too. Oh, he's, dude, that was, that was lodged in that rock. Oh, another one right there. Somebody's using a lot of flukes on jig heads. Look at all these fish. Oh, I thought that was a fish. Oh, that is a fish. There we go. Oh my goodness, there's a giant followed it up. Oh, dude, we got a fish. It's easy to come out here and not catch a fish. So I'm excited about anything. And it's crazy. It's like there's there's just hundreds of little fish right now, stand, uh, just right here looking at me. Uh, I think they're looking at me. I don't know what they're looking at, but. Oh, there's some big ones. I see, oh, there's some big ones right beside me. There's some good spotted bass swimming around. All right, that's just a little spotted bass, but that's the kind of, that's the bass that are in here. And there's some giant, oh, they're right there. There's some big ones in here. Hopefully something else is hungry. Oh, I got something. I thought I got a hit. Oh no, it was a little fish. Oh, I do I have it? Yeah, I do have it. <laughs> Look at that little guy. Oh man, it's pretty. Didn't think this size would be just hitting at it. But... 
He really hit at it. A little, another little spotted bass. Maybe I'll throw this around a little bit more. We might try to keep it. We'll check out the colors on this long A. What is the Northern Lights? Okay, it's a bummer. Long A. I've been uh, using a few of these lures. Um, really liking this simple design and the way they are. Oh, there we go. There we go. Dude, it is working. I'm just jerking it. Working it, working it, getting a bite. This long, this bomber, I like it. This design for what lost if I do, because it's real shallow diver. That's not a bad. We're working our way up in fish. <laughs> it's a real shallow diving and it floats. So, um, you know, it just comes back up. Doesn't dive too low. You can reel it slow or you can jerk it. Well, we've increased the size a little bit. It's about a 13 incher. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right, I'm over here. Still got three fish. So I'm gonna, before I walk back over there, my fishing poles are over there on that. Over there, I left them over there, my extra ones. So before I go back over there, I'm gonna change one more lure probably, fish this deep area, and then we'll go across. I got my camera underwater. Just, uh, I think it's, I think you're gonna be able to see a bunch of fish. There's, there's these little rocks right here. It's real shallow, well, pretty shallow, but I'll hold it. there's so much pan fish in here hiding. Uh, I've seen yellow perch, I've seen uh, red ear, bluegill, and a bunch of little bass. Oh, I got a fish. These little ones keep hitting. Can't believe these little bass keep biting this thing. Where's he at? Oh, that is, is that a large mass? That is a large mass. They're in here, but it's just usually spots. He's pretty healthy for a little guy. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Dude hit it hard. He smoked it. They got a little, it's like a little funnel right here. I've seen some big fish before and there probably are, there's probably some giants in there. Like they're everywhere I've been, there is like huge bass, four and five pound bass. But it's one of those things like getting them to bite. It's it, sometimes they're on fire and sometimes they're just like they are right now, especially when the water's low. But I do like coming here when the water's low. It's just, you can get around more. I always, I see a lot more stuff. It's kind of fun. And today, I mean, I've caught little ones, but I, I've caught some fish. I'd love to get just like one good fish out of here. There's no way this worked out. Second cast. I didn't bring a camera. All I did was gonna do was come up here, cast this lure. I wanted to test it out. Test it, I put it on a new rod and reel. Second cast, hooked a giant. Man, I knew I knew I was gonna catch something just because I wasn't wearing my camera. All right, I'm working downstream. Let's see if we can get it in and I'll see if we can take a look at it. Well, he was coming out. He took it back down. 
It's a striper. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, I'm actually relieved a little bit. I'd rather get well, I don't know. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Uh, the striper or hybrid? I think it's a striper. Look at that lure. If you can't tell, it's a uh, bomber. Long A. I do read some of my comments. Someone told me to try that lure out. First fish I've caught on. He said actually try it for striper. Let me see if I can get the hook out. All right, that thing's probably seven or eight pounds. Let's get it back in the water. Wow, that was a pretty cool catch. Sometimes I'll just go out and do a little fishing, just a little casting sometimes, and end up catching a fish, one of the biggest fish I've caught in a while. Well, I come up here, wanted to test out this lure, just wanted to make a few casts. I make two casts and end up catching a fish. Well, I'm gonna throw it around a few more times. Another fish. A lot littler. Dude. Uh, this is looking interesting. That's gotta be a mean mouth, right? Or is it just a spotted bass? It's got a tooth patch. Trying to get it in the best light. I mean, it's it's definitely a spot, but it looks. I thought it was a small mouth when it came out. Let's throw it back in there. Let's make some more casts. Another fish. crazy we're getting smaller oh my goodness they're hammering this lure these hooks are a little bit out from that striper probably from trying to get them out hook something else to the spinner for a little bit nothing went back to the of course something different A nice walleye. <laughs> it's getting dark as you can see, but uh, we got a pretty solid walleye. I know there's some high quality video editing here or video making. All right, another guy. Let's see if I can get the hook out without getting hooked, without getting bit. We'll throw him back in the water and make some more casts. I think it's skipjack. Okay, let's get a push in here. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> first cast. I got something. Wow, blue, beautiful bluegill right there. First cast, with Bobby Garland. There's all. There's. There's no telling how many. I wish you could just. I wish there was a way to see how many fish were up here right now. Probably just crazy stuff up here. Should have had like three hits right there. Oh, 
come on oh my goodness they're biting at it i'm getting bites left and right i got one let's see if i can get him on chris probably good luck Oh yeah, I finally get one. The second catch. As soon as you walked up. I show up, he starts catching fish. Oh my goodness, I lost like, I've had like 20 bites and couldn't land one. Dude, there's a bunch of them out there. Some big ones. I should throw my medium rod down. Do you want? That's a good skip, Yeah. They're biting like crazy. Can't get them hooked. You want it or anything? All right, let me just, let's show this off real quick. That's a pretty cool fish. Good. Wow. My bad. Guess it was right. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I think I got my system down now. You gotta just reel it slow. Yeah, that's kind of big right now. Like, a lot of times I'll twitch it and get them, but this, these guys, I can't. Man, these are the solid ones right here, though. keep one of these but i've basically given up on catfishing because i'm terrible at it oh yeah goodness these things they're definitely fun to catch though if i can't catch anything else these guys are entertaining especially because you just don't know sometimes you just don't know where they're going to be it's hard to sometimes hard to predict them ow get me wet yeah they feel it it might not be that big but it and that current dude it really feels a giant I'm a little channel cat. I'm um, still getting bites from skipjacks, but it's definitely got a storm coming. It's supposed to be raining like crazy tomorrow. It's really nice out here right now. Hopefully, we can get a few more fish. Well, I'm done fishing for today, and typical this place fashion. Something it, it never goes as, as good as I think it's going to go. And something always happens or something bad. Like this right here. So I broke my Abu Garcia Veritas medium heavy rod. Like one of my favorite rods. I just I tied another lure on it and I just went to like check the attention and snap, broke the end off. Uh, of course it would happen here. And then I, I fished for a while here, uh, at least another hour and a half. Didn't get anything else. Had a couple fish follow. I get people sending me pictures from this place where they're catching giants and I just cannot make it happen. Uh, and then the fish that I did put in this video are from like four or five days of coming up here And then there's probably a few other days that I came up here and didn't catch anything Oh, man, this place drives me crazy But it's one of those places like I just you got to go back to because you just don't know what you're gonna get